Hey there, Rick with Tools to Boards here today to show you how to sharpen a ski or a snowboard edge. And typically when you're sharpening an edge, you're using a file to either establish the uh, edge angle or, uh, or set the, the angle or to sharpen the, the edge once the bevel angle is established. So uh, what we have here is uh, a series of files. There's basically two different technologies. Uh, when it comes to files. There's a, a struck file, so this type of file. Uh, this uh, file is chrome plated and this is a first uh, cut or a, a bastard file. It's relatively coarse. That's typically followed in progression uh, by using a second cut file or a, a, a middle file with a finer cut uh, followed by a, a finishing file. And this is a very fine uh, file for, for uh, for doing your finishing work on the edge. Uh, these, are, are, these three are chrome plated. There's also non-chrome, um, same high carbon steel that's struck, but it's not chrome plated. So there's, uh, the chrome doesn't plate or coat the teeth. These are a bit uh, uh, sharper. Uh, they bite a bit better. Uh, and it's a matter of preference. Uh, the chrome plated files typically are a bit softer. So if you prefer a, a softer feel when you're using a file, usually you'll prefer chrome. We also have, my personal favorite, is the Tools for Boards Combi Cut. So this is a, a, a very high quality file designed uh, to cut uh, the, the edge on one side. It's, it's a bastard cut. The other side uh, is, is milled. Uh, so this is a, a, a very coarse uh, milled tooth uh, side and it allows you to take down the edge offset of the side wall, which I've discussed in another video. So um, the other technology, other than high carbon steel, are special steel files, or in this case they're inox or stainless. This is a very hard material, uh, far harder than the, uh, than the high carbon steel, and these are used uh, uh, with very light pressure, uh, with a long stroke down the entire length of the of the edge. So I'll show you how to use these. Uh, these are not used in progression. You will select the cut based on how much material you'd like to remove from the edge. Okay, so there's a a medium cut, which is the coarsest cut, a fine cut, which is a, a middle cut, and an extra fine, which is uh, the finest uh, uh, special steel cut. So, I'll show you how to use these. Um, I'll take the special steel, just for demonstration, okay, and I'll place it on a, a guide. This is a, a three degree uh, side edge guide, okay. I'm going to place the file on top of the guide with, the, with a spring clip, uh, with a, a relatively strong spring, okay. I'm going to want about 40 to 50 millimeters of file length in contact with the edge, so I'm going to slightly angle the file uh, along the guide, okay, so it's approximately centered. I like to place the file clamp in front so that I can use my thumb. I can have my thumb over the cutting surface of the edge. That provides more feel. So I'm going to take the, the guide, I'll place it on the side edge, okay. Um, I want enough contact with the edge so the fore and aft stability, it's stable, so it seats itself, so it's not tippy, uh, but to minimize it enough so that you, uh, you have efficient uh, cut or the file length is, is uh, the most teeth are in contact with the side edge, and that's because there's side cut in the, in the edge that, uh, that, that minimizes the, the number of teeth that contact the edge. So I'm going to take the file and I'm going to draw it. Okay down the length of the edge. With this technology, I'm making a single pass, okay, with very light pressure. I'm going to allow the file to do the work, okay, and I'll make a few passes. So that's, that's it. So um, that's the high car, uh, sorry, the, uh, the stainless steel files. If you're using another technology, you can use a carbon steel file, okay? In this case, I'm going to place this on the guide with the spring clamp, okay? Again, with about 40 to 50 millimeters in contact with the edge, thereabouts. And I'm going to place this along the guide. And 
this file is a different technology, so I'm using multiple passes, overlapping strokes on the length of the edge, okay, in order to sharpen the edge. Several, several passes with overlapping strokes, okay. Uh, in order to understand what, what's happening on the edge, I'll use a felt marker. I typically mark the edge at the shovel, okay, underfoot in the middle of the ski and towards the, the tail of the ski. So I'll mark the edge so that when I do run over it with the file, uh, it takes the it takes the, uh, the marker away, right? So what I'm doing now is I'm running over it. You'll notice that it's taking marker away progressively towards the cutting surface of the edge, which means that it's actually increasing the bevel angle from what it was before. So this was probably about a two degree bevel, it's now a three degree. If it goes the opposite direction where you're taking the marker off from the cutting surface towards the side wall, it means that you are uh, putting less of a bevel on the edge. If it removes all of the marker at the same time, it means that you're maintaining the same bevel angle that you had uh, existing on the edge. So I'm going to make another couple passes with the file, okay? And uh, to show you the combi cut, same arrangement with the file clip, okay? And this file is amazing. I don't know if you can see this, but the, the filings are just streaming off the edge with very little pressure. This is actually a more forgiving file than the stainless files, okay? And it allows you to really sharpen the edge. So I'm just going to finish that. And effectively, when you sharpen the side edge, you put a burr on the opposite edge, which is the base edge. So there's a bit of an overhang or a curl on the base edge. You're going to want to, I typically do the side edge first, both edges, then place the ski base up, and then run along it with a base bevel tool uh, with a stone or, or stones in progression, and that will remove the burr that I placed on the edge from filing. So after using files, uh, always use stones in progression from coarse to fine, 200, 400, 600 grit uh, is, is, is normal, and that will uh, polish the, the edge and make it smooth uh, to, to, to get rid of the striations that are put in the side uh, or the base uh, using, using a, a, a typical file. So there you have it. That's how you use files. Uh, to uh, order or for more information, go to toolsreports.com.